the formidable robot. In the shadowy recesses of the internet, far beyond the reach of everyday users, lies a domain shrouded in enigma. Dot plug. Rumors of its existence had circulated for years among elite hackers, cybersecurity experts, and those with a penchant for digital archaeology. However, details remain scarce, with most discussions veering into the realm of urban legend rather than tangible fact. Dot plug was not found through conventional means. Search engines, no matter how advanced, could not index its contents, and typical browsers were incapable of accessing its data. It was said that Dot Plug existed on a separate layer of the Internet, a forgotten relic of early network experiments or perhaps an intentional creation designed to be the ultimate haven for digital secrecy. The story begins with Alex, a cybersecurity analyst by day and a curious hacker by night. Alex had stumbled upon a cryptic mention of Dot Plug while delving into ancient forums archived beyond the reach of standard web crawlers. The mention was vague but tantalizing, suggesting that Dot Plug was a nexus for information and resources deemed too volatile, too precious, or too dangerous for the conventional web. Driven by a mixture of curiosity and professional interest, Alex embarked on a quest to uncover the secrets of Dot Plug. The journey was arduous, requiring the navigation of complex digital mazes, each layer peeling back to reveal another more intricate puzzle. Alex had to employ forgotten programming languages, obsolete networking protocols, and encryption methods considered unbreakable until decrypted through sheer ingenuity. One night after months of obsessive search, Alex's screen flickered unexpectedly, resolving into a simple text-based interface with the prompt. Welcome to Dot Plug, where the roots of the web incline. Alex had found the entryway to Dot Plug, but this was just the beginning. The domain wasn't like anything Alex had ever seen. It was a digital time capsule, containing lost data from defunct websites, archives of governmental secrets from defunct countries, blueprints of technologies suppressed by corporate interests, and forums discussing theories that intertwine science with the arcane. Yet the most intriguing part of Dot Plug was not its contents but its community. Users were anonymous, identified only by cryptic handles, but their discourse hinted at deep connections to global events, both past and future. Alex was drawn deeper into the mysteries of Dot Plug, engaging with its inhabitants and exploring its archives. It became clear that Dot Plug was more than a mere repository. It was a meeting ground for the world's most brilliant and secretive minds, a digital Alexandria hidden from the eyes of those who would seek to control or destroy it. As weeks turned into months, Alex realized that Dot Plug was not without its guardians. Mysterious figures, perhaps the domain's original creators or its most ardent protectors, began to take notice of the newcomer's explorations. Warnings appeared, cryptic and menacing, suggesting that some knowledge was meant to remain hidden, some doors left closed. The climax of Alex's journey came unexpectedly. After uncovering a series of files hinting at the existence of a technology capable of altering the very fabric of reality, Alex was forcibly ejected from Dot Plug, the connection severed and all routes of return meticulously erased. The message was clear, some secrets were too dangerous for the world at large. Alex was left with more questions than answers, haunted by the mysteries of Dot Plug. The experience had changed Alex, opening eyes to the vast, unseen networks that underpin our digital and physical worlds. Though barred from returning to Dot Plug, the quest for knowledge continued, now with the understanding that some corners of the Internet, and of human curiosity, are meant to remain unexplored, hidden in the darkest corridors of our interconnected existence.